In this episode of Miniature Landscape Hobbies, we look at every model painter's worst nightmare. Windows. Prior to the COVID-19 lockdowns, you know, when we used to be able to go out to the local hobby shop, I used to have a lot of discussions with other painters about what subject they fear. And pretty much universally, the two big scares were flesh tones and windows or anything with glass. And I must admit, it took me a long time to get down a decent paint scheme for doing windows or glass myself. So I'd like to make it a little easier on painters with this video, and I'm going to go into my method for painting glass surfaces. Now there's something you need to know. There are other methods, and this version is sort of a fast answer to how to paint glass. So if you want something more complex, there definitely are other options, but this is a fast and easy style that I've used for many years. So let's take a look. So I've always found you don't really need special products for painting glass or windows on models. I just like to use cheap craft paint that I get at the local dollar store. So let's go over what you need. So the first thing is a black acrylic paint. So this is just your regular run-of-the-mill paint. And you need to paint that into the window frames where you're going to paint just to create a uh, dark shadow or undertone. Then I like to just pick up a navy blue, or sometimes a, called a midnight blue color. Then you need something that's a step in between, like this, just sort of an ultramarine kind of color. And to layer on top of that, you need a light blue. And then I like a nice blue-gray kind of color, almost bordering on white. The lighter, the better. Then lastly, a pure white. Oh yeah, and uh, you could probably use a gloss varnish as well. For this video, we're going to use some 1940s era cars and trucks that I 3D printed. I found the uh, file on Thingiverse, so if you look for something similar, you can look it up there. So the first thing we're going to do is lay out our very dark blue. This is navy blue. And we're going to paint it over a black undercoat in the frame of the window. I go in and layer it in there fairly heavy. I try to maybe leave a little bit of black showing in the border around the windows if at all possible. All right, then we move to our mid blue tone more of an ultramarine color. And we just put a blob of this in the middle of the window. So you want to fill in most of the window, but leave that uh, dark blue color showing through around the edges. Once that's done, we go to the uh, light blue. And I've switched my subject here just to demonstrate other types of windows. All you want to do is create a half moon with this near the top of the mid blue tone. So you want to get that higher on the mid blue tone and you basically want to go with the motion of the car. Now this strange little window at the back here is too small so it just gets a blob of light blue just slightly smaller than the other window colors. Then on this big wide window we're still going to make the half moon but we're going to stretch it out make it a very long, almost like a parentheses kind of shape. There we go. After the light blue is done, now you go to the uh, light gray or blue gray. And you're going to do the same thing again, but you're going to make it even smaller. And this time you're going to go higher up on the light blue section. And you make it the same shape just to imply there's a good reflection there. On this sort of long window, you're going to do the same method, but you're going to try to keep it very subtle. I've squared off the sides a little bit to bracket in the shape of the window. Then we go to our pure white. Now with this paint, 
what you want to do, and taking your finest brush you have, you want to get a very small dot. You want to get a dot on the high point of the lightest gray and in the deepest color area so that it implies reflections in the bright area and in the darker area. It really helps establish a sense of depth on the model. When that's done, we'll often varnish our models. If you put a matte varnish on to seal it, that's fine. Then you can go back over it with a gloss varnish over top of the window. If you don't matte varnish your models, that's okay, but get some gloss varnish on the windows. It really does put some reflective qualities into the window that makes it look that much more realistic. But as you can see, by adding the effect to the windows, you get a real sense of depth to the model. And this method does create the idea that it, you're looking at a high gloss surface. One thing is that if you're working with military vehicles or vehicles that are earth tones, the blue helps them stand out in contrast to the browns or grays of their background environment, makes them look a little more vibrant in the surroundings. So that's a helpful little artistic bonus for doing this style of work on your windows. We hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it. We also hope that the skills here can help you with your painting projects in the future. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to receive notifications of upcoming videos. Miniature Landscape Hobbies now has a Patreon account. We would like to encourage you to partner with us by taking out a subscription or making a one-time donation. You can find the details in the description section below. Thanks for watching, and as always, we would like to encourage you to keep building life in miniature.